afternoon all. I'm Paul from Creative Property at Walls End. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. Just gone 5 p.m. so obviously a few people running home to work from work to home and doing the commute. We get um, often see a bus go by here. There's a, a bus stop out the front of this new listing just to my left. Um, as you can see it's, it's quite elevated. You'll get more of an idea once we are up on the, the balcony out the front but uh, this is number 23 Hill Street at Walls End. It's our pleasure to bring this property to the market today. And as you can see, there's plenty of established trees throughout the block. Um, we might just have a quick walk over to the side. Really good side access to the backyard, which a lot of people crave for these bigger blocks. And this property is one of those bigger blocks that do become available from time to time in Walls End and it sits on just over a thousand metres. Uh, the frontage is about 19 metres. We might go in for a chat inside soon because it is quite breezy this afternoon, the last day of winter 2020. Uh, a lot of people will be happy to see winter go past, that's for sure. What a beautiful weekend it was. Um, so yeah, to my left here, number 23 Hill Street in Walls End. Updated. The property was originally built in 1890 which we're told by the owners who have a lot of uh, history on the place from the neighborhood as you can see it's it's got the beautiful facade cottage facade and it's <clears throat> really been sympathetically re renovated um, some nice hard sorry nice weatherboard cladding on the outside they've updated the windows throughout you've got the high picket fence there for security at the side there's a a pedestrian access way up the side there. One of those touches that makes it easier to maintain. All with a, um, a crim safe period feature screen door. Come, come this way. As you can see, the flooring is all been renewed. I was told that the, um, the property was extensively renovated in 2001. And just to the left as you walk through the entry, you've got the master bedroom, which is a very comfortable size. It's got an air conditioner, reverse cycle, ceiling fan, two windows, plenty of room in here for a, uh, a queen ensemble. And it's quite long, so you could even squeeze a, a built-in robe in here somewhere if you desire. Floor coverings are in good order. Step back through this way. Opposite the, the master bedroom, we've got another single room. As you can see, the windows are all been updated. A little bit difficult to, to get a feeling for space in here, obviously with no furniture, but we'll keep wandering on through. Oh, sorry about the, um, the upset with the camera there. I think the wind took it. Um, so we've got a, a separate toilet off the hallway. Nothing too exciting there, but it has been updated when the bathroom was, was updated, which is to my left. And you'll see it's all set up for um, yeah, a wheelchair access bathroom and, and laundry combined in the bathroom, which you don't see too often, but it's very practical in storage and design and well thought out. Nice big window there for ventilation too. Plenty of hanging. And then opposite that is the third bedroom. There is a linen cupboard in the uh, hallway too. These are beautiful floorboards. Ceiling fan, nine foot ceiling in here. And as I mentioned to you earlier, this property was originally built in 1890 and then was added on at a later stage and extensively updated in two th early 2000. Some lovely uh, black butt flooring throughout. Continues from front to back. Um, kitchen sink at the end of the hallway which out, look, looks out over the, uh, the living area in the backyard. And just off that area is a uh, separate study. So that could be well utilized for a family or a couple or turned into a large walk-in pantry. You've got options here with this room. Leafy outlook from every single room. Over to our left is, or straight ahead is the dining area off the kitchen, which is an open style design. There's a, um, a set of French doors there that lead out back. 
plenty of scope for further enhancements if you desire, but it's very, very user-friendly and move-in ready as well. And there's a natural gas supply to the property. You can see the, um, the garage out there through the window out, outside. It's an oldie bit of goodie. And I'll just walk you back through this way as well, just to show you the, um, the living area at the back of the property. Uh, there's another reverse cycle aircon in here. There is an outlet for a gas heater in here as well. Crim safe door on the back. Once again, timber door, nice touches. And this is an absolutely beautiful spot in, um, on a winter's afternoon or springs, springs morning. You've got a, um, a clear cover alcinite roof out the back of, of a pergola uh, over top. And this is a, a north aspect, so you can imagine the light streaming through all of these shrubs and trees. It's just up the side of the property. Helps look after the services. That being the north side, there is a, a solar system installed and there is a, um, a solar hot water system installed as well. So very user friendly for the, um, the environment. Yeah, you can see an enormous amount of um, greenery out the back here. Huge fish pond, um, which is all, all working. Watch out, you don't uh, get bitten there. And um, as you can see, as we walk over the um, little walkway here, we've got another, another water pond here. Plenty of um, fish and just a nice feature to have out the back. And down the back um, of the, the property, there's multiple areas for veggie patches and um, established fruit trees, which you can see in the distance there. I think there's a mulberry down the back, quite established, the big mango. And once again, this left-hand side of me is where I'm pointing is the, um, the north aspect. So the block itself is solar passive if you are into growing vegetables or you just like a little bit of space for the kids to run around, which is, is quite nice to have. Not always um, available, but very nice to, to have the opportunity to do that. And there's a beautiful picnic table here under the big Sydney blue gum. What a tree that is. And the kids have a ball climbing in that one. Freak mum and dad out for sure. Garden shed over to the left. Yeah, what a big veggie patch this is here, Ross. Ross is my cameraman, by the way. He's doing a great job. But yeah, as you can see, the property extends further on down the back there. As I mentioned to you, it is approximately 18 and a half metres wide at the front and quite a deep block, um, totalling over a thousand square metres. And you have got an elevation and views to, to the northern side there. So that looks back over towards Walls End and Maryland. And we'll just stand back here and show you from down the back what it looks like. It's just so many beautiful big trees around. This is coming, starting to come into season, this big mulberry. We've got some citrus in the corner there as well. Bananas over the other side. It's quite the garden. So all in all, consisting of three bedrooms, all good sizes, um, that's what people are after. And there's a separate living area, a separate study area dining area off the kitchen which is an open plan design. The bathroom and uh, laundry is combined but it's updated. That was updated in early 2000. They did a great job. It's very easy care. Quite a big property but quite a low maintenance property as well. And offering the off-street uh, access for vehicles or a caravan or boat or potentially both if you wanted to maybe renovate or rebuild where the garage is existing. Um, fantastic lifestyle offering at 23 Hill Street in Walls End. Uh, we'll just have a wander back up towards the house and then uh, we'll sign off. Quite a chilly end of winter, isn't it? So once again, thank you for tuning in for those of you that could this afternoon. 
Uh, I'm Paul from uh, Creative Property on behalf of the team. Thank you for watching and we look forward to hearing from you soon. We've got some people that are booked in to inspect this property this week already and I look forward to um, fielding further inquiry. Um, once again, our number 49556900. I'm Paul from Creative Property. Thank you for watching.